I'm Jeremy Greer. And I'm Gary Butterfield. And this is Days of Future Cast, Avengers vs. X-Men. Uh, we are on Uncanny X-Men number 12. Back to the good stuff, as I like to call it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Art in this is not great either. Like Greg Land is somebody who I, I have real mixed feelings about. But I like how Kieran Gillen is handling the X-Men and writing the X-Men during this era. It's, um, so. it, it's I, like I think I've told you I've been reading a bunch of x-men written by gillen a lot of it is drawn by land mm-hmm. and it is really disappointing uh there's some just really cool scenes and really cool things where it's just it just completely takes me out of the comic that's because it's just all of his faces just look fucking like just uh, yeah bad. They're, they're porn stars <laughs> yeah um and I, yeah. I just it gets more noticeable the more you look at his art and i it's just so frustrating to me so yeah it's a it's a bummer mm-hmm. uh it's it's you know i will i will take crummy art with good writing you know most most cases and i still don't find this art as crummy as the last stuff like i think this is better written and is easier to follow artistically yes you know not great his faces look like garbage but the thing is a big part of this issue and he can't there's no porn stars who look like the thing <laughs> <laughs> so he can't he can't do that that's why every panel with the thing uh, he's it's just from the back of the thing's head <laughs> like it's the easy yeah yeah <laughs> He's actually drawing the back of a dick. He's just, he's just taking a ball sack from porn and tracing that. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Um, so yeah, the cover is, is pretty cool. We got thing and Namor fighting, mm-hmm. uh, which is kind of weird. This seems to like more classic fantastic four than X-Men, but still fun. Um, yeah. Rematch. And, and we're going to get right into it uh, with Cyclops. Basically they, to catch people up, um, hope we're looking for hope who is going to be presumably Mm -hmm. the um, host of the Phoenix force. Um, Hope has disappeared and she has created some sort of weird tech to make it seem like she is in five different places. Uh, So Cyclops Mm -hmm. is going to divide the team into five different teams to go look at for all of these places. Um, They are outnumbered versus the Avengers, which Cyclops says uh, is an advantage for him because that's the way they've always had to fight, which I think is, you know, a pretty good line for Cyclops. Um, Yeah. You know. And then it's uh, time to fight, time to start dividing up the teams. Yeah. You know, I uh, just like, Hey, you're going to encounter Avengers, take them out. You know, here's how you do it. Get there first. And he splits them all up. Um, we're going to presumably see all these fights uh, at some point. We only get to see one of them here. And then the next issue we're talking about, they've already happened. Yes. You know, but presumably we're going to be able to see this stuff. And because I'm a child, I like watching superheroes fight. So I'm fine with, yeah. with that even knowing that they're not going to get the prize. I'm still down with it. Yeah. Um, so our teams uh, going to Wondagore are Psylocke, Boom Boom, and Magneto. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Do you ever just say to... sentences out loud and then realize, like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? <laughs> man, you should. Uh, I don't know if you still, you know, I don't care whether my friends listen to my podcast. Uh-huh. But if you, uh, you should listen to me and Cole's last episode of Bonfireside Chat on Ashen. Okay. Because I don't know how much you remember how much Ashen is just like Jokel's family went to the dark zone to grab the oh yeah 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 life yeah. umbra to put into the it's all of us just ping ponging those verbs back and forth between each other and like losing it because it, it is nonstop <laughs> the entire game is just noun went to noun to grab the noun to do the noun to pick up the noun to, for the noun. Oh, dude. It's ridiculous. I told you I was playing Axiom Verge 2 right now, and I don't know if 1 mm-hmm. was like this, but 2, uh, every single item and person and, or not person, but every single like item, land, like most things in that game are named in nonsensical, like weird language kind of ways. And like at one point, like I got an upgrade and it was like the Lubutuku is an upgrade to the Jihadi that lets you, and I'm like, I don't know what any of this stuff is. I had to like go into the inventory yeah. and find the Jihadi. And I'm sure that's not what it's actually called. Like, forgive me, Jihadi Twitter. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I, it was just, yeah, and, I, and it was just, just to a, clarify, I did not say Jihadi Twitter. No, no, not at all. Jihadi tw- Twitter is very different totally, than totally different twitter nowadays yeah yeah um but i had to look in the inventory to figure out what the fuck fuck it was yeah it was just a bunch of proper noun garbage thrown at me and i was like i can't i can't if anybody recommends be more um, careful with your world building yeah exactly yeah um so yeah boom boom magneto and psylocke go into wonder gore that classic trio Mm -hmm. uh going to a place called tabula rasa which i can i don't know what that is do you didn't your reading did you figure out what this is i did so uh for a while, uh, Angel or Archangel is the mm-hmm. reincarnation of Apocalypse. 
So mm-hmm. uh, this is kind of some um, what was what's the 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 world from uh, all of the Phantom X stuff? So like uh, oh the world yeah the, yeah so it's yeah. the world. Um, but he basically like accelerated time in this like in the middle of the desert um, and to, for 140 million years in order to create like an evolution to evolve these creatures that were going to take over the earth essentially like that was evil archangel's plan if i'm if i'm remembering right i might be getting some of those details wrong uh but what ended up happening is like it created this creature called i think they're called the apex and then um the x-men partnered with them or x-force i think a lot of this happened at x-force partnered with this like weird city creature called savage that they and later like took down archangel and like turned him into what he is now which is weird angel person so no okay gotcha gotcha uh yeah so they're heading there uh this next group um which is namor uh hepsaba uh cyclops's weird stepmom uh and sunspot and uh i really like how horny namor is written in this yeah dude i don't usually like that in in stuff like that but it makes sense for namor uh you know to me and of course everyone's into namor mm-hmm. uh and namor is into everyone and everyone's talking about it yeah like he's trying to let hepsaba off the hook like hey this isn't really your fight and she's like well i couldn't let you guys do this alone also we, we'll be able to relax afterwards and he's like does this relaxation involve nudity and she's like mm-hmm <laughs> you know, and sunspot's just like hey man i get to watch cool <laughs> i love her response later when he would involve nudity (laughs) yeah (laughs) i love uh i also love later when it's implied that like the reason why they have these allies is because namor fucked the innsmouth queen oh yeah monster thing and that's something that that, that has come up before like that that is a thing like he he goes down to the deep and is like oh yeah like and he comes back up and he's like and like you see the weird innsmouth creature like smiling at the background it's 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 very hilarious to me (laughs) it's very funny um so they're gonna go mobilize their allies uh there we cut over to our perspective in tabla rasa which is the scientist yeah which i think uh, this is savage Uh, i think that's like and he constantly talks about his unwife which is like his partner yes they're they're doing a bunch of uh science stuff like he's the only thing this dude is interested in is more science is of learning classic unwife guy classic unwife guy yeah yeah um yeah he's very interested in science sorry to cut you off to make that joke no no it's okay (laughs) um, (laughs) it's exciting yeah uh the punchline with this guy is very funny Yes. Uh, at the end. Like I, I, this, this, epi- this issue made me laugh a lot. Um, you know, he, he sees the Avengers have arrived and the Avengers team they sent here, they just sent all of their heavy hitters. Like it's Luke Cage, the thing and she Hulk. Yes. Uh, are all going here. So fuck off, man. Like, like the X-Men are just going to get pounded is the idea. Uh, here. And not in you the know, name of ways for the other in people. The, in the other kind of no, way. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Although if you were going to have an orgy with X-Men, <laughs> <laughs> and the Avengers, I, like this would be a pretty good group. <laughs> I mean, in terms of just watching, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess in terms of like interest, mm-hmm. you know, Visual. and not in terms of participating. Like, I, it, you, you would die. Oh, absolutely. You know? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to participate yeah. in any kind of superhero orgy first and foremost because I would definitely mm-hmm. be that dude I, on the boys that like, you know, they, they, when they had the orgy scene and like the dude like died or whatever. So I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be the. I don't think of I want to participate orgy. in any orgies. Can, can I just say yeah, that? <laughs> I don't think I want to participate in an orgy. Yeah. I don't think I would enjoy it very much. You know? Um, yeah, they, they, Luke Cage crashed their, their plane because a, a bat flew into the engine, which is very funny. Like, this is the first time that's happened. Like, oh no, the Avengers never accounted for wildlife flying into the engine. It's their one weakness. <laughs> Damn um, you, Stark. But they're all, <laughs> the, uh, they're all like walking forward and checking it out. Uh, and their, their hope locator leads them to a big scary cave. Mm hmm. Uh, and they decide to, to head into it uh, against the you know, the things better judgment and our scientist uh, fella. He's like, you know, they're they're very similar to my friends, the X Men, uh, basically, including also doing dangerous things for no good reason. Yes. Uh, yeah. Um. And then we go back to the X Men who have arrived in Tabula Rasa, and uh, Namor has gone underneath to talk to his uh, fish wife instead of unwife. Yeah. Um. And yeah. she's agreed to help them out, and uh, Hetzbot is like damn okay <laughs> all right <laughs> let's okay yeah. okay i'm yeah, into this she's like oh you're a friend you know what do you mean he's like i i do not speak of my conquest and she's like all right good to know uh you know but and then he gives her permission to speak about it mm-hmm. you know uh and she's just this is where greg land's drawing of porn stars like i still don't like it but you know he's drawing women being horny mm-hmm. with their face you know so it's at least appropriate 
Yeah, when to, he does this um, earlier in this run with um, with Pixie, who is not a a, a person that I even yeah, really who's knew, a who, teen. Who was a teenager, like when she's making this almost this exact same face, and I'm like, Ugh, I don't I don't like this yeah, at all. It's yeah, gross. So. Psych- Psychops is cat stepmom, <laughs> though it, it's, it's fine. fine, totally fine. Yeah, this, this is how Namor becomes Psychops' dad. Yeah. Um, so the thing um, it comes out of this cave, uh, riding a giant worm tooth creature. Uh, I like the, des- I like, I like weird teeth on a worm. I think this is really good. Like just mm-hmm. weird blunt teeth. That's very gross. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. It's super good. You know? And he's like, this isn't hope, you know? Yeah. Uh, like no one's saying it is. He's like, really? I thought maybe her powers that are turned to a centipede, <laughs> uh, <laughs> which is very funny. Uh, they beat up the worms, but they're bleeding. Like they are getting beat up. Yes. The, the scientist notices like they're actually, uh, you know, not winning the fight necessarily. Uh, Namor, uh, his slime queen, Hepzibah and Sunspot are all being carried on a litter, uh, by, by servants of the, the slime queen, uh, there until he sees up ahead. There are the, uh, the Avengers. So he starts the fight. Yes. You know, um, we take a um, brief, there's a part where Hepzibah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, asking what he's like in bed and she just says nonsense language. She's like, Oh yeah. <laughs> like, we, we cannot stress enough how the slime wife doesn't have legs or anything. No, not at all. <laughs> yeah. Sense. I have no idea how, how Namor is fucking this thing. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And Namor will yeah. never tell. That's for today. I'm sure. Yeah. Namor, yeah. And we can't read the language. Hepzibah is just like, do that to me, a human basically. You know, a cat, cat girl. Mm-hmm. So uh, Namor yeah. attacks uh, Luke Cage and basically drives him into the ground, picks him up, and then just throws him a million feet in the air um, and says that yeah. he's, he was, you know, Luke Cage got the drop on Namor in their first fight on the beach. Uh, and, you know, how do you mm-hmm. like this? Um, and our narration here is yep. going to be from Savage's perspective of just talking about his non-Apex friends and how much he just loves watching these people interact. Like, that's his whole, that's his whole deal. Yeah, there, there's a payoff for that, like a joke, but initially it just seems like he's interested mm-hmm. in watching this. Uh, Hepzibah has brought guns to this fight, which seems a little bit underpowered for you know three of the strongest Avengers. I just wish that we're space uh, guns. Are, she, I mean, she's a space lady. Why does she have space yeah, guns? They, like they're just pistols. Yeah, I mean, pistols versus the three most bulletproof Avengers. I, I feel like like I could get these weapons in Call of Duty too. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> It's out of fashion to dual wield them, but you could, you know? Um, but this is basically just a fight. You know, the thing, uh, you know, managed to not get surprised, uh, keeps owning Sunspot mm-hmm. uh, here. Um, they keep showing kind of Hepzibah and She-Hulk fighting in the background, but they don't show it too closely because we know that She-Hulk would just snap Hepzibah's neck. Yes. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, and the uh, Luke Cage is still fighting, even though he can't breathe underwater. Um, it's creating these huge, you know, splashes and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, um, so on land, the Avengers are winning underwater. The X-Men are winning. Yeah. The thing manages to smash Sunspot with a tree, um, which is, seems a little excessive. Like, I mean, he's still a dude, like be mm-hmm. careful with that tree. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then Namor comes out of nowhere and flings Luke Cage at She-Hulk, which, uh, is probably not the first time that that's happened in comic books history. Um, I, I love that like Namor's big thing during this is just throwing Luke Cage at things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when all you have is a Luke Cage. <laughs> you know, every, um, and then it's time for like a classic showdown. And um, like this is, you know, Fantastic Four history goes deep with this history. Uh, and, you know, so it's Namor versus Thing. And he's like, is it that right? Avengers. Like, guess we do X-Man. And, you know, th- 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 just kind of a classic little showdown. And this is pretty good. Like, this is a fun fight between these yeah. two. Yeah, real good fight. Just they're both, you know, very powerful, mm-hmm. you know, and they're both like, hey, no matter how dumb this whole thing is, we get to punch each other. And that's great. Uh, we eventually cut over to the, uh, you know, the narration where it's like, oh, I finally understand. Like, what would bring these species here? You know, what would bring them together? There's only one explanation. And he walks up to what, like to get closer. And they're like, who, who is it? Like, you know, you're not safe. He's like, yeah, no, I'll retreat to a safe distance, but you have to let me watch. I don't want to miss the climax. Like, what are you talking about? And he's like, after this display, you guys copulate, yeah? <laughs> like, thinking this is a mating fight for the thing in Namor, which is like a cheap joke, but I'm way into it. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I'm 100%. really into the thing's face. Yeah. Like, it's very good. And the, the, the Namor face where he's just kind of like, eh. Yeah, you know. <laughs> he's not, as, you know, he's not shocked by it or anything. He's just kind of like, oh, yeah. I don't really like you know? Ben Grimm that much, but like, I've never fucked a rock. So we, I'll, I'll start, you know, yeah. I'll try anything once. <laughs> 
Yeah, like, I mean, the Namor never turns down a conquest. Uh, it is very funny. And the idea of this, this advanced thing being like, I've never seen the mating of your species. You know, just assuming these are the same species because, you know, why wouldn't they be? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, very good. Magic pops up, says, hey, we found hope. We got to go uh, and pulls Namor and presumably the rest of the X-Men. Uh, maybe she just leaves the other yeah. two behind. <laughs> nope. I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> yep. um, <clears throat> and that just leaves the thing there. And Savage asks him, like, are you going to try to copulate with anything else? Because if not, then I got I other stuff I've got to do. <laughs> like, I got some other <laughs> I things I've got to go. worry if about. If you're not going to mate, I don't want to be here for it. Um. It turns out they, the X-Men found out that hope is on the moon. Yes. You know, and they're like, oh shit, like that's very familiar. And Cyclops like, yeah, it scares me too. But you know what? This is a second chance and this time we can write a happy ending. Yep. You know, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's the end of this issue. issue. Uh, and we are going to pick that up later. Uh, I like this. This is a mm-hmm. funny issue. I like the tabula rosa stuff a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, like if you read, if you go back and read all of the skill and stuff, and I think it's, I think a lot of that may be in Reminder's X Horse Run, um, which I've I've read mm-hmm. all the way through and absolutely loved. So, um, yeah, I love that too. I, I've read that, but I don't remember Tabula Rasa. Okay, I might, so I might be getting them confused. Yeah, it could be this one. Well, so. There's like seventy different X Forces. Like yeah. X Forces kept getting relaunched over and over and over. Yeah, because I thought I had read um, a bunch of the Reminder X Force stuff, and then like I I picked it up and I was like, Man, I really don't remember this stuff. <laughs> like this all seems new. Yeah, but that's where they get like Baby Apocalypse and all that stuff from so <clears throat> yeah yeah I, re- I read that stuff for sure okay. and that stuff's very good it like makes deadpool good it's like the the run that makes characters i'm not that interested in great yeah absolutely um yeah that'd be a great thing to cover for this show at some point yeah agreed um you know at least that that original like 12 or 24 issues or whatever with the uh the dark uh archangel mm-hmm. uh storyline that's really good gives all the kinds of deathlock uh, is really good in that like that's a character you would expect yeah, deathlock to... is real fun yeah deathlock is really yeah. great so yeah. Um, he shows good. up. I started reading um, Wolverine then, and the X Men, and he shows up in that and um, just has a real funny. Like, he just looks around the room at the students and it's like, in 45 years, there's a 45% chance that you will either kill four of the X Men or be ruling the world. <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, like, like that thing from the, the movie, like, look to your right, look to your left. Yeah. Like Deathlock. Mm-hmm. That's really great. <clears throat> um, yeah, this is fun. Uh, I dig this. Me too. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to more. If, uh, if you like the show and are looking forward to more, patreon.com slash duckfeedtv is the way to do it uh, to ensure that we keep the lights on and then uh, also reading reviews and tell your friends. Yes. That also helps us out an awful lot. Please do all of that. Um, tell your friends, tell your mom, do everything. Uh, we'll be back in a couple of days with Avengers versus X-Men round four. 